In part 3 of Beginning Rhino on Mac with Touchpad and Mouse, we are going to talk about the command that can help us create points and lines, and we will also talk about some object snap options. Let's start with the command point. What we can do is we can start typing the word point and hit return. And now we are asked for the location of point object. I'm gonna go ahead and enter zero because I want to create a point on my origin point. And once you've entered zero, hit return, which is your enter key. And now we have created a point on the origin point. And some other ways to go about this point command will be Notice that once I start typing PO, this is a drop down menu that have all the recommended commands based on what I've already entered. So I can go ahead and click on point um, without finish typing the whole word. And apart from entering zero for the origin point, we can also assign coordinates for all X, Y, and Z axes. So let's try one comma, one comma one, and hit return when done. And now if we go into the perspective view, we can see this point, which is hovering above of my construction plane because we assigned a value one for the Z axis of this point. And let's double click to go out of the perspective view. And that will be how to use the point command. And now let's move on to talk about how to create lines. And we will introduce how to create polyline and also curve within this introduction of line working in Rhino. We can start by typing polyline. And now I'm asked to enter the starting point of my polyline and I'm gonna type zero hit return, and now I have a free flowing line with a fixed starting point. Um, we can go ahead and enter another point for the second point of my polyline. Let's try four comma three, hit return. And I can assign even more points to create um, a longer polyline. But you can also go ahead and single click if you don't need it to be on a specific point. Let me zoom out a little. And you can actually start creating a geometric um, polyline. If you were to want this to be an enclosed um, shape, what you can do is to move your mouse or if you're using a touchpad to move your finger um, so that you can snap your endpoint onto the starting point and then you can single click and now you have let's go into the top viewport now I have a fully enclosed geometric shape that is created with this polyline command and now let's talk about the command curve. You can start typing curve, hit return when done, and um, I'm going to just single click on my screen to start my curve. And again, I'm just assigning new points so that my line can, tur can turn according to the line um, according to the new points that I'm assigning and if you want to close this form off snap it to your beginning point and single click and that is one of the ways to create um, curve forms and now let's move on to talking about some object snap options there is your section of toolbar and beneath the toolbar section, this is the section of object snaps. 
you can notice that I have already single click to check um, a lot of the object snap options. And these can be um, helpful. Let's say I have created a polyline segment and I want to put a point on um, the middle point of this line segment. And by having this midpoint object snap turned on, if I were to go to my point command um, by either typing the word point or go to this toolbar with this point command um, icon, I can easily be snapped onto the midpoint of this line segment because of my um, object snap selection. And now I can easily locate and locate my point onto where I need it to be because of the use of object snap. And the other options um, work in a similar way, which is helpful in a lot of um, line working in Rhino. And in the um, next part, we're going to talk about some line editing techniques in Rhino.